Hello everybody, my name is SkillsXKills27 and welcome back to some more Minecraft Feed No, not Feed the Beast. I just recorded an episode of Feed the Beast. Um welcome back to an ep another episode of Modded Minecraft where we take Minecraft mods to their limits. All right guys. So, here in our Minecraft modded world, um we today we're planning on getting an induction fur furnace. No. Wait, induction smelter, and also getting started a little bit on a tree farm. Probably won't be able to finish it, but we can get started. Now, one thing I did do in between episodes was I went exploring a little bit, found some of these berries, um, and I also created a f just a few more um, sentries, just just a few, just because they're fun. <laughs> um, so my island's kind of trip wired here. And I uh, found some rubber trees from industrial craft and rubber tr rubber trees from um, from Minecraft or f <laughs> mine factory reloaded. And uh, yeah, For some reason we have a bunch of these guys here. And they're all gonna die. I don't know why we got like 30 right there, but anyway. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, let's get started. Alright, so first thing I want to do is I want to tell you guys. First, I want to turn on the light so I can see my keyboard for once. And I wanted to let you guys know that I figured out the morph. <coughs> <coughs> um, excuse me. So we can morph into all these things that we've killed before, including the sentry turret, which is pretty cool. And then what we can also do is I set as a favorite the bat so I can just go oh did I set the bat as a favorite I guess he got unfavorited bat we should be able to set him as a favorite using something like that oh no that's not a favorite that's just turning him turning into him um so let's do B B N not that. Um, okay, let's just hit controls. Figure out how to favorite him. Um, so let's take a look here. Morph. Um, favorite P. Okay. So let's do that. So let's go. And then we can go B, and then we can go P, and hold P. And now we've got a bat and skills X skills 21. So we can morph into skills and then morph into bat. And the best thing about the bat is his ability is flight. There we go. So what we can do is we can fly. Woohoo! And we look like a bat, obviously. And we can fit in one block spaces. Pretty cool. Um, but the only problem with the bat is that's really unfair, first off. He doesn't take any fall damage, second off. But it's, I just think he's re it's really unfair. I did some more quarrying, by the way. And I found a bunch of diamonds. But it's really unfair, in my opinion, to have this thing. So, I'm not going to use him too much. Maybe occasionally when I need to fly somewhere, but not too, too, too much. Um... But let's get going with a induction smelter. Induction smelter. Ho oh, ho ho. We do need some invert ingots. So how do we make in invert ingots? We can use some ferrous metal along with pulverized iron to create some invert blend. And then we can cook that invert blend up. In our furnace here. Now we do need to give it some more coal. Give our system a little bit more coal. We got a bunch of coal from that. We got, as you can see, tons of diamonds. Tons of really good resources from those quarries. Um, definitely going to start some more, but I want to start my tree farm first. So we can get some something going here. Um, but before the tree farm, we need to get an induction smelter, and you'll see why in a few seconds. Actually, this is why. The invert ingots is why, because with an induction smelter, you can throw in 
just like two iron ingots and two and one um, one of those other ferrous ingots and then it'll turn itself into into invar ingots themselves which is pretty cool now let's just go ahead and grab whoops wrong recipe wrong recipe again this guy and then grab that guy and grab that guy so I thought I thought I prepared all the resources I guess I did induction smelter pretty cool now what we can do is we can hook it up to our system just extend it a little bit and now he's filling up with energy really good cool energy and the way this guy works is you can take some ferrous we're gonna need a bunch of this stuff so why don't we just grab like eight of that and then we can grab like 16 iron and we just throw the iron in there and first I would like to just clear this because we're not going to be using any of that and then throw our 8 ferrous and it'll combine it into invar blend or invar ingots cool so we skip the smelting and the pulverizing and the um, induction part of it and the reason why we need invar blend is so that we can create not that let's look at let's look at some upgrades it's got the leadstone energy conduit but let's see if we have maybe under energy we got the leadstone energy conduit hardened energy conduit which is um, three leadstone energy conduits three redstone and an invo ingot. Okay. So let's do that then. So we're going to need first off is I've been putting this off quite a bit but we're going to need it anyway. Let's grab one. Let's grab the, th the iron that we need and the silver that we need and make ourselves a crescent hammer. That's guess that's not how you make it. How do you make a hammer? Crescent hammer. How do you make one of these guys? Crescent hammer. Tin. Well that's even cheaper. Where's our tin? Let's grab one piece of tin. And then let's go ahead and make that guy that crescent hammer pretty cool and what this guy can do is this guy can break all kinds of pipes and stuff like that really easily including our including our redstone energy cell or leadstone energy cell now what I'm doing is I'm upgrading them to hardened versions right so what that does is it's it's basically um it's getting us it's upgrading these guys so that we are able to do so that we're able to um to hold more energy in these conduits and hold more energy in the in the uh energy cell itself which is pretty cool now we could upgrade these to that Okay, and let's see. We got the hardened energy conduit. We've also got the redstone energy conduit. Now the redstone energy conduit needs to be filled up in the fluid transposer, which needs electrum and hardened glass. So that's going to take a while. But that guy can hold ten thousand RF per tick. This guy can only hold four hundred, but four hundred is still pretty good. So let's run up and upgrade this guy and that way we're able to have our two engines running at full power which will be pretty cool so we're gonna need some redstone as well let's grab a little bit of that throw that in like that with that and that is that not how you do it 
important. All right. And that's my phone. Wonder if Yeah, that's loud. There we go. We got got somebody to answer it. She answered it pretty well. Um let's see. Around that guy gets us a hardened energy cell. Now we've got many energy cells. We've got the energy cell, the hardened energy cell, the Whoa, well, why did everything go crazy? The redstone energy cell, and even the resonant energy cell, which needs endarium. And redstone needs to be filled up, and it needs <coughs> <coughs> electrum and everything. So let's just do a, a hardened, hardened energy conduits and hardened energy cell. Now this guy can send and receive ADRF per tick. So that should be better than the last one. We don't need that extra one. That was just a leg thing. Okay, perfect. And let's do this. Good output to the left, full output and everything. All right. This guy's emptying into here. He's got a little bit of energy, but he can hold a lot of energy, so. We won't have problems there. Now we should be able to do that. And they should both be emptying full speed. This guy should be fully filling up nice and quick. Perfect. Now let's hook up our cables. Like so. And then this guy should be now be emptying out a little bit. Or it's staying steady because two energies to these guys are able to do that at a time. Now is this guy not able to input? Hmm. Hmm. Let's have to do that again. Oh, maybe that. There we go. So we need two inputs. Oh, that's right. Because this guy's producing a bunch. This guy's producing 80, and it can only input 80 at a time. So this guy's not even that good. It can only input and output 80 at a time. Since this guy's producing 80 and this guy's producing that much, then, yeah. That makes sense. Alright. Oh, well. Guess we'll have to get redstone energy cell. <laughs> um, and I was telling you how I would like to do... How I would like to do a nice... A nice little um, tree farm, or at least prepare for one. But I don't think I'm going to do that quite yet because we need to go to the Nether. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm Definitely need to go to the Nether. So let's grab our mythical dust, or the last of our myth quick silver ingots, and then we're also going to need some silver. And do we happen to have any silver dust on us? Looks like we do. That's pretty cool. So we can just pop. And let's just do that. We can just pop that in there. Pop that in there. And then we shouldn't be outputting. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want that to happen. We definitely don't want that to happen. So let's just grab them out before they get smelted. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna make some some quicksilver armor now. Looks like it's emptied out. Okay, seven. That's fine. Cause we get two quicksilver each. No, that's not fine. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use this guy. Not this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy three of these guys in there and let's just throw some slabs in there for now till we grab a little bit of extra wood junk that we have that we don't need
And that guy should last us quite a while. And then we'll be able to do that. And that. And combine it to make some quicksilver. And we might not even have enough for a full suit of armor. Oh no, we do, because we got that extra quicksilver ingot. So let's smelt that up. In. Here. Yeah. It'll just. Can't. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> Okay, we got a myth quicksilver. There's the silver that we um that we broke down and then cooked back up again. Grab that and make a last piece or a last two pieces I guess of myth will of quicksilver. And those guys in there. And we will definitely have enough for a full suit of armor. Now I hope you can actually make mithril armor. It's a big test. Yes, we can. Or it's not mithril, it's quicksilver. But, oh well, we can. That's sick. No. Yeah. That is awesome. That is awesome. Check this out. Oh. Oh, we look so cool. Oh, we got our hat on. <laughs> From the hats mod. Yeah, we're going to have to take that off. Done. Oh, yes. We look so cool. <laughs> With our cool tool, too. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> that looks awesome. Awesome. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so let's clear out everything we don't need out of our inventory. So like that, that, I'm gonna need bread. Um, silver we don't want in there. Try to organize this inventory a little bit. Ooh, we got one of those. Stencil. Okay. And then that we don't need. And grab all of our arrows and these bows. And we're gonna combine these bows together with this bow so we can get a very high durability bow and oh I forgot to explain this so this is compressed cobblestone and this is double compressed cobblestone so basically you use nine cobblestone in a crafting table and it gets compressed cobblestone and nine compressed cobblestone gets one double compressed cobblestone so that's I've just got a bunch of cobblestone, so I compressed a bunch of it so that I could try to do that. We're definitely going to automate that system later. Um, but for now, water bucket will be useless. Let's grab our 10 obsidian that we're going to need and our flint. One flint. And our last piece of iron. Let's go ahead and do, seriously, do that, or that, there we go, finally, alright, so let's go ahead and head to the nether, wow, there's lots of angry things in my house right now, <laughs> oh well, oh well, oh well, um, let's run over here, Place that down, place that down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're going to use that dirt block that we got to create our top parts. Do that, like that. Okay, perfect. Let's light her up. Perfect. We don't need that. Let's just keep the inventory for now. And now, before we go, I'm going to go ahead and morph into a bat because we do want to be able to fly. <laughs> I know it's kind of unfair, but isn't it always? If we'll stop lagging enough that we can fly, there we go. Let's go to the nether. Do, 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 do. Now, I do think there's some fire bats and stuff in the nether, which is scary. So, um, I'll try to avoid those guys. We should be in mid-flight. 
hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're in mid-flight. And then we'll be able to fly away from the bad stuff. Oh boy, this is the, always the longest part. <coughs> it's always the longest part. The loading of the nether. There we go. Okay, can we fly? Are we flying? I don't know yet. Probably eat. Okay, whoa, where are we? No, and we're not in mid flight. And what is that? What are those? Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh my god, there's plants in the nether. That's what's called extra biomes. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, what are these things? These are from Natura Darkwood. Darkwood leaves. I don't know what these are. Wait, wait click it. No. Break it. Yes, nothing happens. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try to gather some quartz. Nice. Because we're in bat mode, we're one block tall, so we don't. Um, so we're very short here, but that's okay. Probably should have brought a full pick with me, because we're going to need to mine a bunch of these ores. Igneous, or Ignatus, we're going to mine that out. Ardite, Ardite is very important. And that's from Tinker's Construct, and that's extremely important. Just grab some more quartz, because quartz is al will always come in handy. Um, definitely will always come in handy, that's for sure. Wow, we just broke a bunch of blocks. Now I'm going to end up installing um, Equivalent Exchange 3 into this, into a mod pack. Um, I haven't yet, but I will for sure, because it makes it so much easier for us to get in, um, uh, end, no, endermen eyes, whatever they're called, ender pearls, yeah, that's what they're called, ender pearls, these guys hurt, ow, that's not good, um, so let's go right here, and maybe we can set a waypoint of some sort, oh, actually, we've got these three death waypoints, that are still here, lemurite, let's grab that, um, we've got these three death waypoints, so, that's fine, so our pig's about to die out, so, I would like to, for sure, make a sweet new pick. Cobalt. Best ore in Tinker's Construct ever. Whoa. Being attacked by a little spider. Scary. Ow. Oh god, that's a ghast. Die. Die the by the hands of my sword. If I can kill you. Let's go. What the hell? There we go. Killed him. And did I get him? Did I get his tier? I didn't get his tier yet. Let's kill this guy. Ow. What the heck is going on? There's so many bad things in this world. Gas tears from that guy too? Oh my. Whew. Wow, look what we got. We got flame string and gas tears. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we were about to mine this cobalt. So, I will be back after I mine a few. What? Fuck. Oh, God. Roommates, what are you going to do with them? Okay, guys, I'll be back after I settle this. Guys, oh, wait, guys, sorry. Didn't press the button yet. So, we're back. Um, Just a little bit of personal business I needed to take care of. But... Do we mind that? We got that cobalt. Good. So let's go grab this. And. Come on. Fly. Fly, little bat. Fly. I'm probably going to get hit by something while I'm trying to fly. There we go. We finally flew. Okay. So quartz. Do we really need that much quartz? Cause it's all over the place. We don't need that much. Okay. Ooh, what's this? So coloss. Cool. Because the reason why we want all this good stuff is because remember how we saw all those ores and stuff um, when we were looking through pickaxes 
for metallurgy. Well, these are the nether ores that we need to make the best pickaxes in the game. So, I'm going to try to make the best pickaxe in the game. Hopefully succeed. And then we won't have to use this armor anymore. We'll, we'll be able to use better one, better armor. And a lot of better stuff. Okay, so I don't... Okay, that's enough cheating. I just wanted to make sure because bad things can happen in the nether so just wanted to be sure that we had a nice safe spawn and I don't want to go up there I want to grab this stuff and we want to explore as much as possible and do as much as possible with the stuff that we have but I'm afraid that the episode's running a little too long so let's go ahead I'm going to explore a teensy bit more, grab maybe a little bit more quartz. You know what, I can grab that stuff off camera. I want to grab all these rare ores from metallurgy so we can go ahead, head back and see if we can make ourselves a nice pickaxe. Or a nice new ingot. Um, and don't worry, we've got our waypoints there, the three death waypoints. Not purposely, but they're there, so... Oh, date. That's good. Need that. Okay. Need to make sure that pig, these pigmen don't walk right in front of me while I'm mining stuff, because that can be dangerous. What's this? Dark bush or whatever. Dusk berry bush. Ow. That's where we brought a bow for. Whatever that gas is. Ooh, that looks fancy. Um, let's go ahead and mine out this stuff. And then grab this stuff. Ooh, it looks like we haven't gotten that yet, have we? No, we haven't. Vulcanite. I know that was one of the nice rare ones. Don't want to have that. Um, let's see if we can find some more Vulcanite, because we won't be able to make a pickaxe with just one. Actually, we might be able to. <laughs> Shadowy. Shadow white. Shadow iron. And that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We got more of this circle stuff. This stuff seems to be pretty common. Um, more iodite. Definitely one of the most important ores in the in the Tinker's Construct mod. Um, uh, I did not install um, nether ores because I just, I just don't like it. Like, honestly, I just don't. Ash clouds, we definitely want to grab these. And I'll tell you why. That's not why. Um, I'll show you in a second, but we definitely want these because it even says 3x3 three three turns into charcoal. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, don't you think? So we can actually use these ash clouds to make us charcoal. <laughs> pretty neat. Now I just want to grab all these. That's just gunpowder. We can leave it. And grab lo the lemonite. Lemonite. Or Quartz, we've already got some. That guy looks bad. Don't want to mess with him. I still haven't found a nether fortress, though. Which kind of sucks, but we can find one later on. Ignitus. There's some more Ignitus up there. Let's go into bat form. Go grab. Go grab that, and maybe some glowstone as well. Alright, if we can fly right away. Perfect. Go ahead and grab all oh, this medicium. Wow. <laughs> all these different ores are all getting getting me all confused. I may have to cut some parts out of this video probably, so. Cause it seems to be running on a little too long for my for my liking. Got ourselves a little bit of glowstone. We don't want to grab too much, just enough. And we also want to grab, not gravel, that's 
Ash Cloud, we can grab that a little bit later on. This is a Natus. Probably seems important too. Some of this stuff. I just see ores everywhere, it's crazy. Metallurgy is like the biggest mm, ore generation um, mod that I've ever seen. It's crazy. But the one thing, ooh, cobalt, we definitely need that stuff. Ooh, this is scary right above lava. Good thing if we were in a jetpack, I'd be worried about falling because of out of power. But I guess we don't. Holy crap, that just updated the chunk. What is this? Calendrite. Definitely gonna wanna make sure we're flying. This stuff. Make sure we grab that. That looks sweet. Calendrite. Definitely don't wanna miss that. Alright. We can leave that junk. We wanna get home. Ooh, we can't leave this. Shadow Iron, we don't have very much of that. Wow, this episode's gonna run on so long we won't be able to make a pickaxe. I don't think we're even gonna try. Let's just get back home so you guys can see me kill myself if I die. So that spider's not gonna chase me when I go after this rock site. Just enough to make another pickaxe. Oh, he did go after me. You're scary. I don't like you. Oh, he's got a very high jump. Very scary. Alright, let's grab this stuff. Can't leave stuff that we don't have. Or that we don't have very much of. Like that stuff, we just got new stuff. Look at all these ores, though. Holy smokes. Okay, can we fly? Please, thank you. Okay, we're back home. Okay, let's head home. Actually, we needed to grab one last thing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here, but we need it. Not this, but we're gonna grab it anyway. Let me wait, let's grab it. Um, we need soul sand. Looks like there's some over here. Yeah, there's some soul sand. We need soul sand because we need it for a few things. We're gonna need it for um, making a magma crucible. So, and magma crucible is how we create molten redstone, and molten redstone creates our redstone energy conduits. Remember those things? Yeah, those redstone energy conduits and redstone energy cell are very important, and we can't make them without a ma magma crucible. So, gonna need sandstone. Oh, uh, sand. Not sandstone. I keep saying sandstone. Probably said it the entire episode. Soul sand is what we need, and here we go. Back home, finally. Maybe any mobs or something? Maybe yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, probably no. No, lots of pigmen though. I guess these guys killed all the pigmen. <gasps> pigmen! You killed my sentry turret, I kill you. Kill him. Murder his face off. <gasps> oh my. These stupid pigmen. Okay, when you mess with my turtles. Oh, oh god killed him. When you mess with my sentry turrets, you're messing with me. Alright, bud. That's enough. Alright, back to normal. Whoa, look at us morph. That's so cool. Okay. Let's go back inside. Oh yeah, by the way, I got those creeper heads by killing a bunch of creepers. Forgot to show that on camera. We're probably running so very long that that is crazy. But what I want to look at is the pickaxes we can make for next episode. So we got tons of pickaxes. The best pickaxe is a Descolossos. It's Descolossos ingots, which needs to be smelted from Descolossos dust, which is Maltite and Exmite. And Exmite needs Exmite dust, which is from Exmite ore. So I guess we can't, we don't have any of that. Can't make that, can't make Exmite, can't make Totru. Tartrate. Is that a mixture? It is a mixture of ultra ice and abdomen. Let's see, do we have any ultra ice? Lordite. Got Lordite. 
No, we don't have any all twist. Okay, what about all twist? All twist is what we're looking for, so ab admin. Admin. Oh, that's the redstone stuff we saw. Kendaline. Needs platinum, dust, and oracleum. Don't have oracleum. Um, what about Hadroth? Hadroth needs Rubicum and Mithril. Rubicum. Do we have Rubicum? No, it doesn't look like we have any Rubicum. Damn it. Oh. And then we're back to. Oh, come on. Mithril, yeah. Black Steel. Needs Deep Iron and Falcathum. Yeah, okay. What about Sangudum? Sangudum. Need Singadum or So we can make a Shadow Steel pickaxe. Which is from Shadow Steel, I'm guessing. Lemurite and Shadow Iron. And we do have Lemurite, so we can make that. We'll make a Shadow Steel pickaxe next episode, see how good that is. But we've been running on so long lately, I will be definitely making this closing pretty short. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment how you think this series is going. If you like the series, if you don't like the series, if you think I should continue the series, if you think I shouldn't continue the series. Whatever you want to do, just let me know because it's lots of fun. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I need to put some more coal in the engines, but I don't have enough time, so blah, 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 blah. thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.